Hello everyone, this is Melissa with Enchanted Emerald bringing you a reading here for this Thursday, January 5th, 2023. Happy New Year, everybody. And I hope that you have all rung in this new year, bringing in very amazing new energy for us to sit with. I know that we are in the midst of a Mercury retrograde, so be that as it may, we do have a reading here that kind of coincides with some of the energy that might be being experienced by some of you with this Mercury retrograde. So out of the traditional Rider Waite deck, we have the Six of Wands. Now this is a beautiful card, right? It's very transformative, right? We have the energy coming in with this is being victorious overall, right? So what I feel with this is that there is an energy here where there is someone who's kind of been pretending, so to speak, um, whether this is really uh, someone who's been putting a lot of energy into making things work within a relationship or a work situation. There is a lot of energy going into really um, putting your game face on and really trying to make things happen for yourself or to make things fit so to speak, in your life. And this is just really to a point where this is not gonna be able to be feasible anymore and you just cannot go on. Because this is like become a burden almost is what I'm feeling with this, okay? And I feel, you know, at some point you have been maybe talking about this with a friend. I do feel like there's been some sympathy kind of coming your way from others that like, gosh, I don't know how you do this. Um, but I feel like there's this life force that's been just your whole energy, right? Your whole aura has changed as a result of putting so much energy into that. And now it's something that you know doesn't resonate with you. And it really has come to a point where it's feeling uncomfortable. And I feel like at this point, your energy is so drained and you're just so tired that I feel like it's almost like you feel like your life is on the line, so to speak where you feel like you're growing weaker physically as a result of this, right? As a result of putting so much time and energy and effort into this, you feel almost like you just want to give up on doing that. <clears throat> so this is very clear to me here that this is not a time for you to give up though. But what this is, is maybe a time to take a step back and kind of reevaluate the situation and see what can I do about this? How can I get myself out of this situation? And what situation would fit better for me in my life? What would look better and feel better in my life, right? <clears throat> that wouldn't be so draining. That would um, fit like a puzzle piece with me where I wouldn't have to put so much energy into making things work or making things happen for myself. And so, I feel that you could benefit at this time from maybe just taking a quick break, right? Um, maybe taking a few days, um, changing up your energy, going away for a weekend, and really just zoning out a bit, really getting in touch with your own feelings, doing some journaling, reading a book, right? Doing some things to kind of refuel yourself, try to fill your cup back up in whatever way you feel is necessary, getting out in nature, um, getting some exercise, doing some of these things to really just rejuvenate yourself a little bit. I do feel um, having an overnight somewhere is probably the most beneficial, right? Just really getting out of your own space, getting out of your head a bit, and that is really going to bring in, I just feel a whole new perspective coming out of that. I do feel like um, this is like Something is gonna be revealed to you, whether this is through a conversation that you have with somebody when you call up a support person and have a conversation with this person where you just get this insight or this epiphany as you're t talking about it and problem solving. Or um, you know, maybe there's something that's revealed to you within a dream, right? From your spirit realm and you just get clarity through that. There's just something coming in for you where I feel like within like an overnight, like you just have this change in perspective. It's just like, boom, you snap out of it a bit. And it's a literal, quite literal change in perspective. And it then comes to be some sort of like an all new perspective for you where you're like, aha, 
I know what to do. I know how to handle this. I know how to get myself out of this situation. And so when you reapproach that situation after taking that time out, so to speak, you feel a little bit more rejuvenated and you feel more clear headed and you know um, exactly how to handle things. <clears throat> and so then this is more like you might be dealing with people in a relationship or someone in a relationship or within the workplace where it then becomes more of like a showdown where there's like a battle of wills kind of going on, right? Where someone might be asserting their dominance and then you are trying to just say, hey, I'm looking for compromise here. I really wanna make this work. I do, um, but this is what I need. I need this, this, and this in order for this to work for me, right? So you're kind of implementing your boundaries and you're just hoping to kind of meet in the middle, have some middle ground out of that. Because ultimately, um, I, I don't think that <clears throat> this is exactly what you're wanting. Yeah, I don't think you really want to leave the situation. I think that there's a lot of an emotional investment there. So you do want to try to make it work. And if you can't make it work, ultimately, I do see you leaving the situation. But here we are, you're implementing uh, your boundaries and you're going to see where that goes. Now remember, when you do that, though, you are worthy. Okay, and so make sure that when you do that, you are very self-assured, right? Um, and that you're, you're very clear about what you want and what you need, okay? Because um, I think that a little bit of confidence uh, is really going to go a long way. A little bit of confidence, having the courage to say what you need, it's really going to take you far um, with, with setting those boundaries, right? When we say our boundaries and we are not very clear and we're not very concise about them, we can still have a whole gray area if it's not black and white. And then that leaves room for inter interpretation by the other party. <clears throat> and it can get a little bit messy. So make sure that you know exactly what you want and, and how you want to say it. And you say what you mean and mean what you say. Okay. Um, but I do feel like, you know, eventually there will come a time where this is just going to be um, the situation, it just doesn't resonate and it needs to fall away. And so this person, this situation, this work situation, it's time to show that person or this situation the door, right? It's time to make your exit. And so, uh, you know, I really feel that there are people that aren't being honest with you in, in this situation as well. And I feel like you are the type of person that would be hardwired to tell the truth. And so... Um, you know, I think that the fact of the matter is you expect that, like ultimately you're that way. So you just expect that other people are that way. And unfortunately it doesn't happen like that. Like it's, it isn't automatic that people are going to give you the hundred percent honest to goodness truth all the time, unfortunately. And so you're a very genuine person and then you're finding it very concerning that maybe the people that you're surrounding yourself with in this work situation or this person within this relationship is is not owning up to that, right? Is is not meeting your expectations or those type of standards that you have. And so it's almost like you feel like, I just feel like, um, you know, the energetic read on this is that you can't find an honest bone in this person's body. And so you you are just like, Lord, like kind of blown away, like, gosh, I cannot even believe it. I can't believe anything that this person says. And so, you know, I feel like this person, their social game is like on point. Um, and, and what what I feel with that, and it's weird, I heard the song Timber with Pitbull and Kesha. It's um, someone's yelling Timber, um, it's going down. And so it's like, you got to move, you got to dance kind of thing. Um, so it's kind of like a social dynamic that keeps kind of playing out. And so I feel like this person will say whatever it is that they need to say to get your attention or to um, smooth things over with you just to get through the day. And so I feel like you're kind of calling their bluff. I mean, I, I think you kind of put them in their place at times that like, hey, that's not okay. Um, or I know that that isn't, that isn't true um, at times. And I feel like other times you kind of let things go. Um, but I do feel ultimately, what I'm being shown with this, it's weird, um, is that somebody has like an overcoat on 
And I feel like there's an object that's been given to one party or another that's very special to that person. And so they put it in their coat pocket, inside their pocket, inside their coat pocket, and then they pull it out and look at it every once in a while. And then they just kind of stare at it and then they put it back in their pocket and they tuck it back away. Now, I don't know if this is a clock, um, like a time, you know, a watch, uh, or if this is something that is just a, like some sort of a piece of um, like like jewelry or something, but there is something that's that feels special that's kind of carried with somebody that, that helps them to remember good times. And so um, I'm just acknowledging that because it came through. Um, I don't necessarily feel that that's um, anything to, to keep you within a situation, right? We, we always want to take our good memories with us as we move forward. But I, what I feel with this is um, I see like a white flag being, being waved, right? Now, when we think about the white flag, I think it's more of like a peace, right? A, a, a surrender, so to speak. And so when we talk about this white flags in relationships, we want white flags in relationships. We got to be looking for someone that we can trust, that we can let our guard down with, that we can be our authentic selves. Is this person not able to do that with you? Because they are in, inhibited by unhealed wounds, right? And we have to see them where they are, right? We want to hope for them to be able to heal that so that they can have a functional relationship with somebody, right? If you're not that person, that's okay. Um, but it's also not your responsibility to wait around for that person to do all that inner work to then be able to de develop a beautiful relationship with you, right? So I feel that this is more of a, a surrender on your part because you want peace. You just want to cut your losses with this. And so I think in retrospect, when you do look back at the past, whether you're looking at that piece of jewelry and remembering the good times, you also know that there are times that um, this situation has brought more harm than good. And so you're thinking of all the hurts that come with that. And are there more hurts than there are good times? And these are questions that you have to ask yourself as you make the decision moving forward, right? Because you want to be victorious and ultimately you will be victorious moving forward. But this person may not um, be worthy of your respect, okay? Because when we talk about respect, this goes hand in hand with trust. And if you can't trust that person, it's really hard to respect that person. And so you want to be able to, excuse me, move forward and claim your victory, right? Move forward, claim your victory. I think ultimately you can see this victory um, as more of, uh, you know, it can be one of either path, right? You can see this as a blessing or you can see this as a curse. And maybe you can see it both ways. But I feel like the curse part of it is that you're moving forward and you're seeing that you're, you know, responsible for the notoriety, right? Like you are going to be remembered for something in this person's life. It will be like you'll be the bad guy to this person in this story, for in their story, right? If you leave this situation. Because you're demanding, you're kind of commanding that their energy rise up, that they do the work, right? If they're not ready for that, you might be the bad guy in that story as they move forward, as they tell that story to others, or as they tell themselves that story for now, right? And so, you know, I feel like that's what that blessing or curse, uh, you know, phrase that comes from spirit is really meaning. But know that you're always divinely protected, of course, on your earth walk here. And so, you know, I really think that this is going to be leading to a transformation of self and a beautiful new uh, beginning will then arise for you in the future. So I really think that it's about claiming that. So victory will be yours. So uh, claim that, claim that for yourself. So beautiful read here for us for this evening. I do so hope that this resonates for you in some way, shape, or form. And if you are feeling so inclined, please don't hesitate to share this with others so that they may benefit from the message as well. And as always, I will be back with another read for you guys again soon. Thank you so much. Take care.